Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have the reveal and inspiration of our latest cart kit. This one's called Christmas Cheer and this is the Christmas Cheer 6x8 stamp set and it features an adorable Santa right there in the center, a stocking full of goodies, and also some other elements that you can add to your cards with greens and candies and presents. There's a beautiful filigree design, also a reindeer and a stacked ho ho ho, and some other elements. The messages are Merry Christmas, have a merry little Christmas, holiday cheer, and down at the bottom there's also Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and Seasons Greetings, and they can go in the shape banner since they're curved stamps. This is a really cheerful stamp set with all the elements needed for your Christmas cards. Up next, we have the Fanciful Joy die set. So it's a two piece. There's the word and then also that shadow that goes around. I have die cut a sample for you. So that joy is a really nice fine line image that you can put right into that shadow. There's another way of doing this that I thought I would highlight. You can also cut out the joy from like silver cardstock and then back it with a shadow of red cardstock just in case you have trouble gluing your small letters down in place and getting them aligned. We have a new item that we're thrilled to bring to you. This is the Simon Says Stamp Black and White Baker's Twine. It is a really nice thicker Baker's Twine so it really holds up to bow tying and it's perfect for tags. It's made of cotton and the ends really don't fray since they're made from the same material. The twine comes on the wooden spool and it is about 11 yards in length. We have an embossing folder for you in this card kit, and this is Twinkling Stars by Rainbow Splash. It's a 2D embossing folder, but it gives you that really nice array of stars. These are really simple to use. You slide your paper right into the folder, close it, and run that through your die cut machine on the setting for a 2D folder. Since this is such a sweet card kit, we're also including the Tim Holtz Ideology Sweets tag, and this is a metal adornment, and you can add it with your twine to your cards. You'll also receive a pack of Craft Consortium, and these are Christmas Market decoupage papers. They also include some foam squares. So what you do is you punch out the first element, then the second element. They do say which layer comes first, second, third, and sometimes fourth. And you punch those out and you start stacking them on top of each other to get a really nice 3D piece for your cards. There are five designs in total and you get two sheets of each. So each one can be put together. You can also use these elements by themselves. I thought these would be really great for crafting with those younger artists in your household. And, and they'll learn if they take it slowly and follow the directions, they'll get a really cute piece to put on their cards afterwards. So this last one here, I have assembled it following those directions and I get a really fun 3D project. You can see that this one has four layers in total and that last layer really stands up from that background. These are super easy to punch out. You just hold on to the design and then pull the other paper away. And I like to start with these in the layers as they're labeled. We have eight double-sided sheets from Prima Marketing, and this is their Candy Cane Lane collection. So the first design has a nice panel set and the back is bold stripes. This next one has a nice pink and it's distressed and it has that vintage looking Santa ho 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 and little girl. And then the back side is some polka dots with some vintage stamps and other items. This is a sheet of Santa and each of those little banners underneath has a different saying and on the back side is a light sheet of Santa in his sleigh and a reindeer and trees. Here's another set of those little panels. You can cut these out and put them on the front of your card and the back side has some holly, bows, and stockings. This next sheet has some multicolored stockings which fill the page and on the back side is some distressed red with stars and that'll go really well with that embossing folder. This next sheet features some polka dots and some vintage stamps, Santa, and also reindeers and other goodies. And on the back side are some trees and reindeer in a pattern to fill the page. 
This next sheet is some smaller little panels that you can cut up. These are really fun for collaging things together. And the back side has pink and red poinsettias along with some ornaments. And this last sheet has some little tags. You can cut those out and use with your twine. And the back side has a really fine stripe pattern. We've come out with more note cards for you. You will receive one of the cotton candy note cards from Simon Says Stamp. And that is pre-scored and easy to fold. And to go with that, you'll get the metallic cotton candy envelope. And these are the self-adhesive. You just pull that strip away and seal it so you don't have to lick it to stick it. You'll also receive a half sheet of our really popular matte silver cardstock. And then also a full sheet of our metallic rich red cardstock. These are perfect for using with your die cutting. You'll also receive a Nina White 110 pound cardstock. And finally, you'll receive a sheet of our terrific adhesive sheet. These are really handy, especially with those intricate dies. And I use these by putting down my paper face side up onto the sticky back, also face side up. And then I trim around with my scissors. Next, I put my die down on that front side with some low low tech tape and run it through my die cut machine. When I peel this away, my paper has stayed into the channels of this die since it's so intricate. And I have a really quick tip for you on how to adhere this down onto your paper. I'm holding the die a little up from the background paper and I'm using my pierce and place tool and I'm just poking through those poke holes of the die. And just by using that poke tool, when I finally get done, my piece is in place and I can press that down on the cardstock. By doing your word first, you can then align that outside die right around those edges and secure that in place with your tape. And once you've die cut that, you'll have a perfectly placed word and shadow for your cards. That's it for the reveal of this card kit. Up next, I have some amazing cards from our designers. I'll start with Susie Plantemer, where she used the embossing folder with some ink and did a letter press, and then created a shaker card with an oval and her stocking as the main focal point with Merry Christmas at the bottom. Callie Person stamped a background with the presents, leaves, and candies, and then ombre stamped her ho 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 and put that in the center. Nina Marie Trapani used those decoupage sheets and created her little masterpieces, turned them into tags to put them on some presents. I hope you've enjoyed this reveal and inspiration of our latest card kit, Christmas Cheer. I have some links in the description box below on how to purchase this kit and some of the elements included, and a link to our blog post with additional inspiration. And as always, thanks so much for watching. Hi there, I'm Heidi, Simon's mama and founder at simonsaysstamp.com. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you like what you just saw, be sure to press the thumbs up and subscribe to see more great content. Oh,